I uh, just tried watching that Zeke guy moving forward movie again. Outside. believed it contained solutions that shouldn't be overlooked though I've still got an hour to go on this second viewing and assumptions incorrect assumptions justifications for why they are participating in it whilst objecting to it if only, what if? Polarity in the words they're using, high quality, leading to a high quality of life. Well, the word quality is a polarity in it. That quality means the degree of excellence, but also, to quote the Bible correctly, the degree or extent of excellence of something first definition second definition a general excellence high standard if something's generally excellent or of a high standard how can there be a degree or extent of it, it? Yeah. so And uh, imagine if there's an earth and it hasn't been evolved by man. Well, why imagine such an in, impossible impossibility? Why waste your time in imagining impossibilities? Why don't you just fucking deal with this situation as it is? For instance, energy. It's one thing that they. The solution, all the solutions are only based upon that which is in existence now as allowed by the market forces that are so obviously a, a part of the problem. Energy, science, science will solve it, they say, because science only knows the truth. All science is agenda dri driven. Ask Will I'm right. Ask Is there a guy called? The one who um the banker wouldn't back because he couldn't put a meter on it energy see this protesting about it isn't going to do nothing other than create problems check out Egypt what are they actually protesting about there? they don't like the person who's in charge of their country whom they so far up to them approved of because they didn't do what they're doing now is there are people on this planet whose whole agenda again is to see us all bitching with each other he says bitching with Z guys fighting one another to enable them to laugh whilst they roll around in their own dirt energy generation changes staged changes This is not a solution either, this is just my final video of opinion. Because I, I want to deal with myself, my advice is it begins and ends with the self. 
and therefore I shall begin with myself and we will see where it ends energy electricity there should be no profiteering out of a need a human need to profiteer from a human need that's suggesting <laughs> oh fuck knows what it suggests though what you will find if you remove the profiteering from the energy production you will then start to be able to remove the abuse that it inherently causes and is a part of and you will be able to open the patents that the electricity companies own which will contain Tesla's work Will I'm Wright's work maybe I don't know I don't know that much about either of them because I'm not I'm a working class kiddie on the street literally on the fucking street have been rebuilding myself after rather than taking them on floating into outer space imagining myself visiting an imaginary mother on Pluto um, creating religious orders in my mind creating not so secret societies to destroy the secret societies beat them easily honestly cannot be beaten <laughs> try it all of it the goal is to survive it's not survival is a fear factor the goal is to live there's no other goal, the goal is to live. If you have a goal to survive, you will then fear not surviving polarity. So really, the solution is education. What is it that we have allowed ourselves to become? What is it that we have programmed ourselves to be? What is it that we allow to exist to enable the status quo to float so merrily on its whatever education it's got to be the start point in educating ourselves in that respect must then be the start point because before you can educate the youngsters let's call them because they could actually educate you oldsters if you only knew how and it's not for me to tell you um, understand this anybody watching anything I can tell you destiny can tell it you better um, yeah it can be I don't know what the word would be the reason why you might find it difficult to deal with them anyone who does find it difficult to deal with them I don't um, as such is that they will not compromise they won't compromise they're looking for the solutions they've got solutions the solution is what's best for all if it is not best for all it is not relevant it's not a solution it's not worth considering it's not worth wasting time on it's not worth giving energy to it's not worthy and therefore it is not dignity and therefore it is rejected 
yeah I went back to Zeke guys because I believe there were solutions in there because I, I haven't got to the part yet I'm going to go back and watch the last hour though that's like I, I wanted to make a video that sort of wasn't critical that said well hey look let's look they've got some solutions let's utilize the solutions they have because the hydroponic growth of food in towers is interesting and, and it shows that overpopulation is another fear that man could meet the needs of any population level upon the planet he could meet any problem if he wanted to and there are things that are correct in the guys movie were you know, the days of the market forces and the knowing discovery that growth is unsustainable that what we are doing is unsustainable I mean never got my head around that how can there always be economic growth it's not possible uh, ask a five year old six year old dude to teach a six year old basic arithmetic and then postulate that theory to him that's how you can't be done unless the solution is what's best for all we will all well I don't want to start putting ideas into people's head because that's another thing you start talking about problems and you are programming people you start telling people that to take to the streets you're programming them start telling people that what will occur is the government will run out of money and they can't pay unemployment benefit and the, the unemployed will rise up you're programming him you're programming people using such statements I mean I don't quite understand that that the government I was fault the money doesn't belong to the government who does it belong to really the Bank of England well who are the fucking Bank of England then apparently they're a corporation and corporations are you know it's like I haven't looked into it apparently the Rothschilds own the Bank of England I was told though you won't see that in any literature anywhere and they are a corporation and then so who gave them the right to print the money for the government that and then all this fucking banking bullshit where they're still allowed to give themselves massive bonuses and it was interesting parts of that Zeke guys were they point out that they've been passing bad debt around just to create a transactional interaction between themselves so that they can give themselves bonuses on the transactional uh, transactions that have gone through the books Psh, fucking hell this video is called in memory of David Icke solutions reaction problems Thank you, that is my last opinion ever. All my future videos will be me talking to me about me. Self, talking to self, to correct self, to realize self, to enable self, to correct self, to enable self, to understand all and discover what is best for all through an understanding of self as all life in existence perhaps who knows